Hey y'all, today's show is all about grilling and I've come up with some dishes that I think y'all are gonna enjoy on your grill. The first recipe is a lime chicken and shrimp kebab. And then next I'm gonna be grilling up a pizza. And then I've got a side dish, it's a stuffed barbecue cabbage. And then I'm gonna finish it up by grilling a tomato that's so succulent, it'll be good with whatever entree you pull off your grill. So I'll meet y'all in the smokehouse cause today we're grilling and chilling. Okay, here we go. I'm about got everything ready to start our shrimp and our chicken kebabs. Now let's start with our marinade that we're gonna cover these with. I'm gonna use two thirds a cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, about a half a teaspoon, fourth of a teaspoon, flaked red pepper. Right, I'm gonna mix that up a little bit. And now I'm gonna add the juice of three limes. And this lime is gonna give this chicken such a wonderful flavor. And it's also, whoa, <laughs> little lime in the eye this morning. <laughs> and this lime will also serve as a tenderizer for the chicken. All right, here we go. And do you know that these limes came out of my yard? Okay. Now let's move on over here and let me show you what all I'm gonna put on these kebabs. I've got six boneless, skinless chicken breast that I've cut up into chunks. I've got a half a pound of shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. I've got a purple onion that I just cut up in chunks. I did the same thing with a red bell pepper. And I have pineapple chunks. Now, I'm gonna take our chicken and put it into our dish along with the canned pineapple, the purple onions, and the red bell pepper. I'm gonna give them a stir. Now, our shrimp is a more porous meat, so we're not gonna marinate it as long as we will our chicken and our vegetables. So we're just gonna pour our marinade over and we're gonna marinate this for about three to four hours. Put it in the fridge and just let it marinate together. And the last 30 minutes, then we'll come in and toss our shrimp in. Okie doke. So I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator. And I've got one here that is ready to go on our skewers. Doesn't that look good? I've got my skewers that I've had soaking in water. And that will help prevent our skewers from burning. All right. Now I'm going to make two different shish kebabs. I'm not gonna mix the chicken and the shrimp together because the chicken takes longer to cook than the shrimp. So we don't wanna put those two foods on the same stick. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a pineapple, a little purple onion, a little bell pepper, and a little shrimp, or actually a big shrimp. You know, this is not one of those recipes that you'd want to use a little tiny shrimp with. You would want them big enough that they would hold up on the grill and not get overcooked too quickly. You see the way I'm skewering that on? Almost looks like a horseshoe. I'm just gonna stick a piece of onion on there to just secure that last shrimp real good. So you can put these on in any order that you want. You can put as much of any of the things on them that you want. You know, it's really 
all about your taste buds and what you like. All right, now let's work on a chicken. And these are great. You can serve these as your entree or you can serve them as a meal. I know y'all got the hang of that. So I've got some already done up and ready down here. So I'm just going to add what we've done to these. Now let's just go over here and throw these on the grill. Now our chicken, we're going to cook about 12 to 15 minutes. So I want to put all my chickens together. And we're going to turn our chickens occasionally so it can get done on all sides. All right, now our shrimp, we're going to cook for about eight minutes. It won't take those as long as the chicken. So listen to that sizzle. I just love it. All right, now you can see our flame jumping up. So we want to make sure we shut that grill to cut off the air supply because we don't want our chicken burned and raw on the inside. So I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to clean up. And when we come back, I'm going to be taking our kebabs off the grill. And then I'm going to be making a fabulous over-the-top pizza. And later, delicious barbecue stuffed cabbage and scrumptious garlic grilled tomatoes. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's show is all about grilling and you're here just in time to see how my shrimp and chicken kebabs turned out. These look just delicious, don't they? Look at that chicken. Mmm. Oh my goodness, it's cooked perfectly. That lime juice is kicking in. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get back and eat some more of my kebabs. But right now, I want to move on to this pizza. I'm real excited about this. I've got my pizza dough ready here. And I'm just going to spread this out and kind of shape it into the form of a rectangle. As far as your pizza doughs, you know you can buy this in the frozen food section at your grocery store. You can buy raw pizza dough. Or you can make your own. In fact, this is a homemade crust. You'll find this recipe in Paula Dean Celebrates. And this works out real, real good for the grill. You can see I had a lot of nice oil in my pan so I could spread my pizza crust out. So what you say, let's come on over and, and give this grilled pizza a try. I love the funky shape of it. You know, it's, it's going to be different. <laughs> All right. So let's come over here. Now, for my pizza, I have decided to put on it mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, arugula, some onion that I grilled off quickly, some black olives, some drained capers, and some roasted garlic. So I'm going to start by cutting my mozzarella fairly thin. And I'm just going to pile that on that dough when it's done. I love fresh mozzarella. So I'm going to pile those back in my bowl. Now. The only thing I'm really going to touch here is the tomatoes. And I'm just going to cut those in half. I'm going to put my olives on whole. So they'll show up and be nice, big, pretty pieces. You know, not all diced up. So you can just let your imagination run wild and put your family or your favorite toppings on your pizza. 
All right, now let's come over here and take a quick look and see how our crust is doing. I'm gonna move all these ingredients next to the grill so I can easily just toss those on the pizza crust. Now this crust is gonna take probably around eight minutes to cook. Oh my goodness, it, you can tell that the dough is almost totally dried out. So I think it's ready for us to flip. But before I do that, I'm gonna run just a little bit of oil on this side and then we're gonna flip it. You know, this is something that the kids will have a ball fixing. They can even make their crust into different shapes. All right, so here we go. Look at that. Looks great. So let's see how I wanna put my ingredients on. I think I'm gonna put some arugula on it first. And I've used just one little bunch. All right, and then our grilled onions. This is looking just way too good. Great. All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle some capers on. Just a few capers. And then I'm gonna take my roasted garlic. Ooh, that garlic is gonna be so yummy on that pizza dough. All right, now I'm gonna drop a few ripe olives. Gosh, it's getting some character about it, isn't it? All right. Now my tomato halves. All right, and last but not least, my favorite ingredient, the mozzarella cheese. Perfect. Now we're just gonna shut this grill, let it cook for a few more minutes, let that cheese melt. When we come back, I'm gonna dig in and I'm gonna taste it. And then it's going to be barbecued stuffed cabbage. OK, look what time it is. It is time to taste the pizza. How do you like that? Doesn't that look yummy? Ooh, you know, I think that it would be so much fun to do little miniature crust and have just all sort of ingredients out here and let everybody put their own pizza together. Uh, I think that would be really, really fun and neat. Mmm. 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 This pizza is unbelievably good, but it's just like extra crispy and extra delicious. But we gotta move on, cause I only have so long with y'all, and I wanna get everything in. All right, I've got a saute pan here, and I'm gonna put this on the grill, and I have about, probably about five pieces of bacon that I've diced up. And I'm gonna throw those in my skillet, along with one diced onion, in they go. And I'm just gonna saute that off, let that bacon get nice and done. So come on over here, cause I wanna show you what we're grilling. I'm gonna grill a cabbage. Now I parboiled this one for, oh, about 20 or 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna core this out, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna take a little house seasoning. Just gonna sprinkle that onto our cabbage. Give him a little rub. Now let's go back over here and check on our bacon and our onions. Ooh, and they look just perfect. I don't want my bacon crisp, I want it soft. All right, so let's bring this over here. Now, that bacon, has rendered a lot of nice fat. So I'm gonna strain that off because I wanna reserve that bacon grease for something else.
And now I'm going to take my pastry brush and I'm going to take that bacon seasoning and I'm just going to brush our cabbage all over with that bacon. Look at that. Okay, now I've got my bacon and my onions and I'm just going to transfer those to a bowl. And now to my onions and bacon, I'm going to add a little bit of barbecue sauce. I probably have about a fourth of a cup here. Oh, it smells delicious. All right, now I'm going to just take this and I'm going to fill our cabbage with our mixture. Just pile it all up there. Looks perfectly heavenly. I'm going to take a piece of tin foil because when I put it on my grill, I don't want it to topple over. I'm just going to kind of roll it up and form a circle out of it. And I'm going to put this circle on our grill. And now I'm just going to sit our beautiful cabbage right on top of that ring. And you're going to let it cook for about 20 or 25 minutes. Look at that. It's perfectly beautiful. OK, so cook away, little cabbage. And in the meantime, let's bring this on over. I'm going to take him off his ring. And I'm just going to quarter him. Look at this. Such a nice change from a baked potato or an ear of corn. Mmm. Can't wait to taste it. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Almost tastes like baked beans in the center of it. I really think you're going to like this one when you try it. Well, listen, i got to take a quick break, but when we come back, I've got one more vegetable. It's a garlic grilled tomato. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Today's show, in case you've just tuned in, is all about grilling. Before we close the show today, I want to share with you a garlic grilled tomato. Now, I've got four whole tomatoes that I've sliced in half, and I've put them cut side down onto the grill. I sprayed the grill so they wouldn't stick too badly on me. And I have been cooking these for about three to five minutes. So I'm just going to flip these over. Now, I've taken five cloves of minced garlic that I've sauteed off in a few tablespoons of olive oil, and I've infused those flavors together. Now, I'm just going to spoon that onto our tomatoes. Whoa! That olive oil is talking to our fire. <laughs> All right. Now, let's quickly shut that lid. Now, normally, we would cook our tomatoes after we've turned them three to five minutes. But I don't know if you noticed that licking they took with that fire. <laughs> so they got a little extra jump. So I think two minutes is probably going to be great on these. So yeah, they look wonderful. I'm going to take them up. I think my little spatula will work better on these. I'm going to let those others continue on cooking just for a couple of minutes. Now, this is like my second batch that I've cooked. I've got some here that's uh, been through one cooking. All right, so come on over here now. Get up in here close so you can see how I'm going to finish these tomatoes off. I've got some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle them with that. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little fresh thyme, which is so good. 
with tomatoes. You know, it's just going to give it a fabulous flavor. You want to make sure you have it nice and salty and peppered good to bring out the wonderful flavors of that tomato. That gets it, y'all. It's time to enjoy all of the things that we've grilled.